Prior to the norm of toilet paper rationing, Jan Askin had the pleasure of sitting down with the band's fearless rhythmic leader from the trap set. Meet James Kane. James, tell us where you go to school, what year you are. Uh, so I'm a senior at Aquilonis right now, and um, I have been there all four years of high school. Did you go all through Lafayette schools? Yeah, I started it at a Happy Valley Elementary and then went to Burton Valley for two years. And then went through Stanley and did the jazz program there. And uh, I'm now at Lafayette Okay, well your interviewer taught at Happy Valley School and she was oh. a principal of Burton Valley for a couple of years, so mm -hmm. I know those schools well. So, James, you play the? Drums. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and when, when did you join the Rossmore Big Band? I joined the Big Band my sophomore year of high school, and my freshman year of high school, I was actually the second drummer in the Aquilani's Jazz Band, but I switched over to vibraphone my sophomore year, so I still wanted the ability to play drums frequently with uh, a jazz band, and so I figured this would be a great opportunity to do that. Oh, so you play the drums for the jazz band, but you're still vibraphonist um, in the high school yeah. jazz band. Okay, so that's any other instruments that you play? Uh, yeah, I actually my primary instrument, I would say, is piano, which I've played uh, since I was about five years old. Okay, so percussion band there. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, along those lines, who would you say is your all-time favorite drummer or pianist or who you most become inspired by? I would say I have two favorite drummers, and they're both contemporary. One of them is Mark Giuliano, who uh, does a lot of jazz stuff, but also kind of jazz fusion, um, and he's just really creative and doesn't necessarily always play on a conventional drum kit, which I like. He's um, really into switching things up. Mm -hmm. And the other one is Zach Hill, who is uh, kind of crazy at times, but I think that that contributes to the uniqueness of his style. Yeah. You started playing piano at five. Did you know then you wanted to play the drums? Yeah, I had no idea I would be playing it? drums. I actually, surprisingly, because I'm now a jazz drummer, I started as a rock drummer in a rock band uh, with just a few of my friends. And at that time, it was kind of just messing around. Uh, but I started taking lessons, uh, and, and I was in fifth grade with uh, Terry Graham who I still take lessons from mm -hmm. and has been my drum teacher since. Well, do you have, you probably don't have, do you have time ever to get together with a bunch of friends and just jam? Yeah, yeah, occasionally. My sister is a sophomore in college right now, and when she was still, when she was a senior at Hawk Colonies and I was a sophomore, her friends would come over a lot and they kind of mess around with instruments too, so a lot of the time we'd get together and play. What was your first day with the band like? You know, you showed up and um, there's some kids, but they're a bunch of adults and yeah. gray beards like me. <laughs> I remember being uh, pretty nervous, cause, just because I didn't really know what to expect, and I didn't know if Mo was going to be super strict, get mad at me if I messed up. So yeah, he, I, th I think I, I remember him saying for the first few months I was here, he always wanted me to smile more. <laughs> I, he still does say it sometimes. It just took me a little while to kind of get used to the groove of the band, but once I did, then I became really comfortable. Now I love it. Well, you've stuck with it for these several years now, and it's hard being a senior to commit. What are you taking from the Rossmore Big Band? I always just think it's nice to, I mean obviously to hear live jazz music is always a treat, um, but also I think 
I've started to make some connections with not just people my age, but people of all ages, which probably never would have done. What do you do for kicks? <laughs> probably my favorite thing to do is I produce music on my laptop, and it's kind of a mix of genres, but I always like to incorporate jazz. I actually have released uh, one album so far. It's kind of a mix of jazz and electronic. Well, that's fabulous. So what, what's, what are the next steps? Do you, do you have, would you like to go into music production? Mm -hmm. would you, would yeah, like so to? I actually, this, this weekend, I'm going down to USC to audition. I've heard that they have a great music program, and I think that being able to study music production with a professional would be really great. Sounds really exciting. Any other passions outside of music? I'm not certain that you have time for it. Math is my favorite subject in school. So. Well, there's there's a lot of mathematics and music and yeah. vice versa. And yeah, that's works. always kind of fascinating. Um, but you're not going to go out and try to solve Vermont's theorem. Yeah, in, probably in not. <laughs> well, James, thanks so much for giving us your time. Yeah, Best you. wishes.